Change Kids, Miss Kim here. I'm so excited to be with you this week. Have you ever been to a volcano? Well, it's back to school time, so I thought I'm gonna take a quick field trip to go check one out. Come take a look. A few moments later. Check out this volcano. Wow, look at how the eruption is happening. Look at that steam rising up off the top. Look at that lava just bubbling up and overflowing down the sides. Wow, isn't that amazing? That is so cool. Well, it's always fun to bring something back from a field trip with you. So today we're gonna to be making a homemade, kind of like a volcano, a homemade lava lamp. So to do this, what you're gonna need is a half a cup of oil, two tablespoons of water, something, a jar, a glass to put it in, a little bit of food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. That is a type of medicine, so you are gonna need an adult to help you with that. Well, today I'm gonna make our lava lamp a little bit bigger so we can see it a bit easier. But I'm gonna be starting with the oil. I'm just gonna pour some oil, just some vegetable oil, into our jar here. You know what, maybe let me do a little bit more. Ooh, okay. It's a good mix. I'm gonna put this down so we can see a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna pour in just a bit of water. What do you think is gonna happen with the water? Is it gonna mix up with the oil? or is it gonna be separate? Let's find out. Let's see, I see some kind of bubbles rising to the top. This is kind of interesting. I see that the water is kind of sinking to the bottom. I might add just a bit more. Yeah, I can really see that the yellow oil is coming to the top and the clear water is kind of settling down towards the bottom. All right, interesting. Let me just add just a little bit more, make it a little easier to see there. All right, next up, I'm gonna be putting in just a few drops of food coloring. I have the liquid kind, kind of a orangish yellow. And then I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I have some of the gel kind in red, so I'm gonna try a little bit of that. I hope it works out. All right, maybe just a, a drop will do. All right, so what I'm seeing now is the food coloring. Some of the drops are at the top floating, some have kind of sunk to the bottom, and the bottom layer is water, and the top layer is oil. All right, I think we're ready to make our experiment really pop. All right, so I'm gonna open up our Alka-Seltzer tablets, at home you just need one, but I'm gonna be making mine a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna use a few. But I'm gonna need your help to help me count down to drop them in. Can you count down with me from three all the way to one? All right, ready? Go ahead and count. Three, two, and one. Let's see what happens. All right, ooh, I've seen some bubbles rise to the top. <gasps> I've seen, wow, it looks like the water is starting to mix up with the oil. It kind of is looking like a volcano is erupting in the back of the glass, kind of like lava is coming to the surface. Can you see that? That is so awesome. This is like a homemade volcano right in a jar. Check out that lava. <gasps> that is so cool, wow. I can even hear it sizzling. Oh my goodness. Kids, did you like that? Well, this is reminding me of our relationship with God. Just like the water settled on the bottom and wasn't mixing with the oil on top at the beginning, that's kind of like us. God is so perfect. And when, when we make mistakes, we have sin in our lives. We're not perfect as we are but Jesus came in and acted just like that Alka-Seltzer tablet 
Jesus came in and he came down to earth and he became a sacrifice for us so that we could be in God's presence again. God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus down to us so that we could eventually be in God's presence. And that is so amazing. Wow. God's love can overflow out of, it, out of us just like that lava overflowed in our jar. Just like that lava overflowed out of the volcano. Well, do you know something else that can overflow? There's probably a lot of things that can overflow, but one of the things that I'm thinking about is usually yellow or white. Sometimes it happens when you walk in a room or you might see something out in the sky. It's kind of bright and shiny. That's right. Light is another thing that can overflow. When light enters a room, it overflows into the darkness. Here, let me show you. Let's check it out together. All right, so just like lava overflows out of a volcano and God's love can overflow out of us, light can overflow into the darkness. Even the tiniest of lights can light up a room, a really dark room. Even the tiniest of lights. So kids, as you can see, even the tiniest of lights was able to overflow into the darkness. So just like that light overflows and just like God's love overflows, let's let our lava lamps and the lava that overflows out of them be a reminder to let God's love and light shine through us. Take care, we'll see you on the Zoom call this afternoon and have a great week.